This is the Pulse of the Plankton. For the week of May 3rd, 2021. Fresh from the edge of San Francisco Bay, via light microscope, a snapshot of local marine plankton. The living ocean drifters. In this Pulse of the Plankton, from our week of plankton footage, came the following zooplankton and phytoplankton highlights. Zooplankton are the animal-like plankton that eat other organisms. Here's a crab zoea. It's a type of crab larva. See its great big eyes and its long flapping telson? That's its tail. There were young barnacle noplii. So many. There were copepods, both young and old. And polychaete worms. This worm is amazing. There's such variety in shapes and sizes of polychaete worms. There are some things in the plankton that aren't alive, like this plastic fiber and this little plankton fecal pellet. And now for the phytoplankton. Phytoplankton are the plant-like plankton that make their food from sunlight, water, and carbon dioxide. This tiny dinoflagellate is tumbling in classic dinoflagellate style. And in armored dinoflagellate, you can see the plates on this protoperidinium. Now diatoms. Diatoms are the single-celled algae with cell walls of glass like opal. From short and round to long and pointy, diatoms come in an amazing array of shapes and sizes, like this rounded tropodinase. A pair of spectacular odontella clones. Oh no, there they go! A golden chain of Stephanopixis. And now a chain of Thalassiosyra. If we zoom in and in again, you can see how they chain together. Here are several large round centric diatoms. Look at all the golden brown chloroplasts. And this small clump of Catoceros chained and linked together loosely. Here a boxy triangular chain, it's Lithodesmium. Now, Bacillaria paxillifer, the dancing diatom, glides past its neighbors and back again, shifting the whole colony in the water. The Pacific Coast Ocean Weather for the week of May 3rd, 2021. Since our last pulse, the commercial salmon fishing season has opened. Fishing boats are busy heading out into the feast of phytoplankton and zooplankton that hopefully the salmon have been enjoying. Conditions continue to be mostly spring-like. Skies are mostly clear and blue, the air is cool, the sun is sparkling, and the water is emerald. And the northerly winds continue to blow. These northerly winds fuel upwelling, a process that brings deep, nutrient-rich water to the sunlit surface. Like plants, phytoplankton needs sunlight, water, and food. Phytoplankton have plenty of water, and there is increasing sunlight in spring. So you see, it's the food, the nitrate that can be limiting. Think of the nitrogen-rich compost you add to your flower and vegetable gardens in the spring. In the coastal ocean, nitrogen, in the form of nitrate, is being sprinkled from below into the surface waters. If you've seen the past pulses, you've seen this path of dots. They lead you through our typical year in terms of upwelling and richness, the nitrate content of upwelling waters. The path starts in January at this dark blue dot when upwelling is relatively low, as is the nitrate, and it moves through February. And as we move into March and April, those springtime northerly winds have really been cranking, driving upwelling and pulling deeper nitrate enriched water to the surface. Until we arrive here at our typical May, 
As for our spring thus far, our start to May has not been typical. We're seeing extraordinarily intense upwelling of extraordinarily rich deep water. And if you want to see how we've bounced around to where we are now, here's the week to week path we've taken. Wow. The springtime productivity continues, bringing us the beautiful phytoplankton and charismatic zooplankton that fill our nets. That was the pulse of the plankton for the week of May 3rd, 2021. Like and subscribe for more plankton related content. Hey, it's Jim Metzner, and you've been listening to The Pulse of the Plankton. Now, if you've enjoyed this program, I would encourage you to find and support your nearest national marine sanctuary, because wherever you may live, the plankton of this planet are always downstream. <laughs>